Hey, what's up everybody? So this is Russ with RWG Research and right now I'm going to show you some pretty cool stuff. Um, I've got the bobbins of the VIC, Stan Meyer's VIC wrapped. Um, what I did is I did some testing with the um, wire that I think I needed on here and the sizes that uh, I calculated that I needed and I unwrapped the secondary on this bobbin and what I'm going to do is wrap this really thin wire on here. I believe this is around a number 35. Uh, it actually came out of the back of a uh, AC induction motor. It's a brake. Uh, what happens is a clutch plate uh, basically clutches. Electromagnet turns on and uh, releases the plates that are hitting the clutch and allows the motor then to run. Um, and then when you disconnect power, the power going to this um, shuts off and the clutch, uh, the clutch engages and stops the motor. Uh, it's designed for certain applications and a couple bad motors at work that had the brakes on them so I took them apart and I have a couple spools here of this um, awesome recycled magnet wire so that's a that's a big roll of magnet wire. Um, I think this roll is about a half a pound which is a lot. It's about uh, Oh, a little over a mile worth of wire here. And I'm going to wrap it on this bobbin. Um, with my lathe, what I'll do is I'll turn this on and slowly wrap back and forth, back and forth. Now, um, I don't know if I've showed you guys this, but I added a counter to my wire straightener here. So now this is a, um, it'll give me a length of wire and it'll also give me. Uh, it'll also straighten it, but right now I'm just running this through here. It's already straight, and it's pretty much just going to be cleaning cleaning it up. Oh, got it all wrapped up here. Hold on. Time out. Get it all back in here. I'll show you how this, guy, this little thing works. What I did, uh, some of you have been asking what these guide wheels are here if you look if you go to any hardware store and you look for uh, sliding glass door um, rollers that's what you'll find they make them in plastic and metal um, so they they look just like this and what I've done is I've taken a magnet if I can focus here I've taken some magnets and I've attached another one of these on top and I've run it over to a old this is out of an old tape deck counts gives you a counter on your tape deck and uh, basically as I pull this wire through here you can see that it counts um, it rolls over pretty fast uh, every 23 numbers is 10 foot so every time you see 23 on here you get 10 foot I did a calculation um, and to find out how many uh, how much wire I had and how much length it was and what the number count was so that took a little bit of science behind it to get get me known what the uh, wire length is um, but yeah so I need a, a higher step up transformer on this VIC and the reason I'm doing this is because I want to calculate the proper uh, VIC I need for this so in order to do that I have to learn how to properly um, make a VIC coil and I've got some information that's going to help me out to design this thing, and that's what I'm working on. Um, this here is just like the one that's inside of the gas core processor here, um, except this will be the cell. This will actually be for the water capacitor that creates the hydrogen and oxygen, just like Stan Meyer says. So, um, the other thing I want to tell you guys is that me and a guy by the name of Alex Petty are teaming up to pretty much reverse engineer Stan's system. Um, there are some photographs, you can find them online, and you can completely reverse engineer this thing. So what me and Alex are doing open sourcingly are reverse engineering Stan Meyer's actual circuitry you see on his car. Um, and what I want to tell you is to go over to Alex's website. We're we are working together, but we're gonna basically just keep our stuff on our own websites. So make sure you pay attention to my website and his website. Um, his website is alexpetty.com. Okay, just like that. 
Alex Petty, A L E X P E T T Y dot com. And uh, this is what you'll find when you get there. And uh, so far, you can actually see here that he laid out all the circuitry and the patent. Um, and that's another thing, really quickly. The patent number that he is using for this information, you can download it on his website right here. So it's the very, like, first couple of things on his website right now. Now, this is his personal blog, and he updates it a lot. And uh, once you see, I'll try to scroll over here, you will start seeing more of this on my work and his work. And what this is, is uh, Grease Petty Research. And we're designing our own, uh, or, or, you know, incorporating our own thing here. And um, starting our own uh, our own little team, and there'll be more people involved, I hope, down the line. Right now, it's just going to be me and Alex involved with the actual work on that. He's more of the electronics guy. He really, really does really good at those type of things, and I'm more of the the building of uh, mechanical type side of the things. Uh, as most of you know, I can pretty much build anything I put my mind to. Uh, with a little resources, I can I can do it. So he's really good at the electronics with a little uh, little brain power. He can do it, and uh, together we're going to make a great team. And read his posts, read his blog because it'll give you an insight of what we're doing and uh, how we're going to be able to basically recreate. Um, Stan Meyer's original GMS gas, gas management system um, for his dune buggy and the end result um, you gotta have the gas processor working and you gotta have the electrolysis which I call it voltrolysis because um, you're using voltage instead of the amperage and the EPG will be incorporated in this work but we've gotta get the basics down first so uh, in the background, I'll be wrapping the EPG and getting it ready for the tests that will come about for this. So, uh, so if you ever see Grease Petty Research on my work and his work, it's a combination thing. We're probably just going to be doing, um, both of us are going to be posting that on, on each other's um, work. So pay attention to his and mine website, and uh, I will get you uh, some more information here. This is a very simple, simple 555 timer circuit. Um, that creates the a high pulse frequency and a lower pulse frequency and combines the pulses with a AND gate and then runs them through a MOSFET or a transistor into the VIC coil or the core uh, sorry the coils here and then into the water capacitor so I will be giving you a demo on that as soon as I get a little bit better results I have to rewrap like I said rewrap the primary here um, and I'll be doing that shortly and we'll be going from there. So please read the patent that I just told you and please read Alex's um, blog. Let me show you what number it is. The patent number, if you look it up, uh, I'll just give you what it shows here. And again, you can download this right off Alex's website, but it's patent number W029 0786. I'm sorry. Let me start over. Patent number W092078619. I did that right. Sorry. So, um, definitely go read that. It's actually got schematic drawings. And what Alex has done is match them up with the actual cards and show you where stuff goes. Um, and basically, it just shows you the amount of evidence that Stan left behind for us to go through. And I'll be honest with you, if you read through that patent and you're a good engineer, you could redesign this system and make it work. Um, you don't need any extra information. But what we have uh, obtained are some photographs, uh, photographic evidence that will help us uh, actually reverse engineer this whole system. So that's what the plan is. Um, I will be giving you more updates. Um, like, like I said in my last video, my um, time schedule has got kind of screwed up. Things have been a little bit difficult. And I'm um, working, uh, working what I can, doing what I can, and that's all I got for you. So, this is Russ, RWG Research. Um, I know a lot of you have been kind of trying to figure out how to make one of these um, wire straighteners, and now it's a wire counter. Gives me amount of feet per wire that I pull through here. 
So uh, it's pretty neat. And uh, yeah, doing the best we can. I do have some ferrite rods here. Um, quarter inch by four inches long. These were absolutely 100% extremely hard to find. And they fit right inside my bobbins. Just perfectly. So, um, yeah, there you go. Um, like I said, I'll be doing the testing and showing you the results and giving you what you need. You can get the schematic um, of the simple pulse circuit from Alex's website. It's really easy. It gives you the basic idea and principle behind it, and uh, it's a lot better than anything else you can find out there for a basic, simple circuit. Um, you can put resistor in there to do the frequency tuning instead of using capacitors, but I recommend kind of playing with both. So that's it. I'll leave you guys alone. Um, again, I'll try to get online more and post more videos. It's just been really crazy lately, and uh, that's just the way life is. So uh, this is Russ, RWG Research. Keep spreading the word. Keep doing good things, and uh, God bless you all. See you.